Everyone's created slides in PowerPoint, but did you know you could create page banners? That's just another power of PowerPoint. To get started, let's open a blank slide. Now by default, PowerPoint thinks you want to make a presentation slide, but we need to change that with the page setup. Go to the Design tab and click on Page Setup. This opens the Page Setup Settings. Click on the Slide Size for dropdown and scroll through the options. Now there you go. There are still options for 35mm slides or overheads just in case you need them, but we want to select Banner. Notice that the width changes to 8 inches and the height to 1 inch. How we need to look at this is that it's a ratio and not inches. So that way when we save the banner as a graphic, it'll be the correct size. In most cases for banners, we can use 8 to 1 or 8 to 1 and a half. For the tutorial, let's just leave it at 8 to 1 and click OK. PowerPoint resizes the slide pane to the banner size. You should still have the two default text boxes, and those are important when we start designing. So first, let's change the title. Maybe use your class title. I teach Ancient Basket Weaving. Uh, the subtitle would be the class, which is ABW101, and OK, there it is. Now, you might be thinking, that's all nice, but I have absolutely no design skills whatsoever. And many of us appreciate good design when we see it, but we don't have the eye to create them. Here's where we find what the next power of PowerPoint is, which is design themes. Now make sure you're on the Design tab, and you'll see a bunch of themes. Let's go ahead and mouse over the first theme and check this out. Bam! Instant Design. PowerPoint has all these professional slide themes and you can apply them right to your banner. As you mouse over each, PowerPoint gives you a live preview of how the theme will look on the banner. You'll notice that some of the layouts don't display well though, with text going on the sides or turning sideways off the banner, and maybe going too small to even read. But don't let that stop you if you like the overall design. So let's select one which the text is off, but say we like the layout. And don't worry, we're going to fix that in a minute. Next, we can adjust the color palette as well. Just click on the Colors drop-down menu, and again, as you mouse over the different color palettes, you get a live preview of how the design will change. Find one you like, and go ahead and click. Once that's selected, you can adjust the fonts or the text type the same way. Click on the Fonts drop-down menu under Color and just mouse over. That's pretty cool, huh? You can do the same with the color background. Just mouse through and find something that looks good. Something like that. There we go. We're moving right along. You should be familiar with the text tools in PowerPoint. But let's do a quick demonstration on fixing or editing the text styles. Click to open the Home tab and let's fix the titles. For the main title, you want to use a font size 24 points or bigger. For the subtitle, you want to make sure it's not smaller than 20 points. That will ensure that both are easy to read. So when selecting the fonts in the drop-down menu, you might also look for fonts that are more bold. Or you could just bold the font if you think it looks too thin. All right, looking good, but what if you wanted to add a picture? If you've already watched the Power of PowerPoint photo editing tutorial, you're going to have a clue. Let's just drag and drop a picture onto the banner. I have this basket photo saved on the desktop. You can open it from any folder on your computer. And I can just grab it and drop it right there. Now, I'll just move things around until I like them. And, yep. There, there we go. We have everything looking good, so all we need to do now is get the banner out of PowerPoint so we can use it. To do this, simply click the File tab and select the Save As. The title you entered becomes the file name, but you can adjust that if you need to. I'm going to add Banner to the end of this. Now, in the drop-down, select Portable Network Graphic Format, or PNG. This is the best option for maintaining quality for use in both web and print. Now, before we save, though, we want to make sure to keep that quality. So click to select the drop-down next to the Save button, and at the bottom, select Compress Pictures. For the target output, select Print, or the 220 PPI. 
and click OK. Then click Save. Now PowerPoint will ask you if you want to save all the slides or if you want to save the current slide. Since we only have the one slide, let's click Current Slide and we're done. So with the included themes and automatic style adjustments for colors, fonts, background, and more, we have an easy way to create good banners for use in classes or documents or anywhere we might need it. You can use the banners to designate the class or even create a banner for each section or module in your class. But adding the visual content will help your students stay organized and helps create interest. So now you can have fun exploring all the design options.